Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Scar King in a full body pose from Godzilla and Kong The New Empire. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, so you can find out every time I post one of these new videos. But thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Now to start off with our drawing of Scar King, let's begin up here with the eyes. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to begin by making a line that's going to come down, and then I'm going to bring it back here. And then I'll do the same thing here. We're just going to go down, and then we're going to bring it up and kind of curve it over. Next, I'm going to bring a line that's going to come down and up here for the eye, and another one here, down and then up here. For the eyebrow, let's bring a line that comes up and down. Do the same thing here. Let's just come up and then down. Then I like to add a little line underneath each eye, and then we'll bring one that comes down from here too. Now for the nose, let's begin by drawing a line that's going to curve up and then down. And then same thing here, we're just going to curve up and then down. Then we'll color in two little oval shapes like that for the nostrils. Then we'll make a line that comes up on each side for the nose. Then I'm just going to make a line that's going to come down and in, and then one right here. It's going to come down and then in. Next, I'm going to bring this line up. We're going to curve it around, and then we're going to come down. He's got a pretty tall head. Starting here, I'm going to bring this line down on each side. And then I'm just going to bring this all the way down here. And then we're going to bring this up. Now starting here, I'm going to bring a line that's going to come up and then down for the top of the mouth. Then I'm going to bring a line that's going to come down. We're going to go over and then up here. I'm going to make two lines that come down for the fangs and then some smaller little teeth in between. Then I'll make two fangs here and we'll put some smaller teeth on the side and in the middle. Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and down and then up and down for the tongue. And then I'll just kind of color in the area behind it for the back of the mouth. Then up here on the head, I'm going to make a couple little curved lines for some wrinkles. Now, starting here, I'm going to bring some lines that come down with some points and they curve in. And I'll do the same thing here. We're going to bring these lines down and then curve them in. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that comes up and down for an ear, and then one more, up and then down. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come down. I'm going to bring this up, and then I'm going to kind of curve this in with some broken lines for part of its chest. Then I'll make a line that's going to come down and over here. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. I'm going to put a couple little zigzags on here, just so it kind of looks like this is some fur. Now, I'm going to start this line up here, so it kind of looks like his head is bent down just a little bit. So I'm going to bring this line down, and I'm going to put some little kind of points on it, and then we'll curve it into here. Next, I'm going to put some little points that kind of curve this way. Then I'm going to curve this pointed line over here for the bicep. We'll bring this line down here. Then I'm going to bring this line down and kind of in. And we'll start here. We'll bring this one down to here. He's got really long arms compared to the rest of his body. 
They'll make some little points come across here. And then we'll go ahead and make the hand. I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come out. I'm gonna go down. We're gonna curve this up and then back here for the thumb. Make this line come down to here and then we'll bring it up. Make another one come out to here go down and then bring it right back to here. I'll make one that's gonna come up and down and then I'm just gonna curve it to here. And then we'll just leave it at that so it'll look like his other finger is gonna be kinda of hidden behind here. Next, starting here, I'm gonna bring this pointed line down to kinda of get a side going. And then we wanna make his big whip that he has. So to make this whip, I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna make just some bumpy lines that curve right down to here so it meets. Then starting right here, I'm gonna make a line that's just gonna go down and then up, down and then up, and I'm gonna bring it over to here. I'll make another one here, just gonna go down and up, down and up, and then right over to the face. I'm gonna make a line that's just gonna be kind of bumpy over here, and I'm gonna bring it over. And then I'm just gonna kind of continue this bumpy little line shape, and we're gonna go all the way down. So I'm just gonna kind of bring this over. And they can be different, and we're just gonna kind of bring this over to here. Then I'm just gonna kind of bring a line up here and I'll continue this down. Now, starting here, I'm going to bring this line down to about here. And I'm gonna make his other arm here. Before we do that, let's go ahead and make another little bumpy line there. Now this shoulder is gonna be a little bit lower than this one. So I'm gonna bring this one down and we're just gonna kind of make these bumpy little lines. We'll make another line that's gonna come out and in. And then I'll make a line that's gonna come out here. Next, I'm gonna bring this line across and I'm gonna make some little points that come up to about here. Just so it kinda of looks like this arm is behind his body. Now, starting here, I'm going to make the leg. So I'm going to begin by making a line that's just gonna come up. I'm gonna make it kind of pointed and then bring it in. And then same thing here, we're gonna kind of make these little furry lines and then bring it in. I'll make a line come out and then we're gonna put some little points right across here. Right here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come out, and I'm gonna bring it back. Make a line that's gonna come down and up, down and up, down and up, and then one more here for his toes. Then I'm gonna bring this line down. And then over here, I'm gonna make this leg come out, and then we're gonna bring it down to here. Do the same thing, bring this out and then bring it down. And then I'm just gonna make kind of like a bumpy line here. It kind of looks like he's standing on something. I'm gonna bring this down here. Now, starting right here, I'm gonna draw a line that's just gonna come down and I'm gonna curve this up for his thumb. Ring line is going to come out here and over and a line across. Another one's going to come down here, one here, and then one more here. And we'll connect it here. So 
So now we got our basic shape of Scar King. Now we want to come in here and add some of the details. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple little wavy lines to kind of come up here for the rest of this. And then I'm just going to make some little curved lines that kind of come down here in different spots just to kind of add some detail on this whip because it's made of different bones. And maybe add a little line or two up here. I'm going to add a couple more little lines underneath the eyes. And then a couple little lines right around the nose too. I'm going to make some little kind of broken lines here. And then I'm going to bring a little line down here as well. I'm going to put some little curved lines on the fingers and on the toes just to show where the nails are going to be. And then I'll add some extra little lines on here as well, just to make like some little wrinkles. And then just in a few spots, I'm going to make some of these extra little lines just to kind of make the fur. I'm just going to kind of put these in some different little spots on here. Just kind of add a little bit of detail onto our Scar King. Put some up here and maybe a couple over here. And then I'll kind of finish off with a few right here for some detail. And there you go. There is your drawing of the Scar King from the new Godzilla and Kong, the new empire. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.